this tutorial we're going to learn the key to a rolling title. Now for creating a rolling title I recommend you actually go to the title window and go new title default role. We'll look at default crawl in the next tutorial but default role is the easier way than starting off with a default still. So if we do default role again it looks exactly the same but we're going to name it end credits and I'm going to click OK and in my project panel over here you'll see that I've actually got my default role or my end credit ones dropped in. Okay, now there is going to be a difference between this one and the previous ones in that this is effectively going to become a video because we're going to have rolling credits going up and down the screen. So to do this we need to create some area type. So I'm going to click here at the beginning of my title safe and drag it down to the bottom of my title safe area. Okay, so that's my area where the area type text is going to be created. I could have clicked this button, but to be honest with you, it's just as quick to choose this type tool and just drag out your area. And then you need to really decide your font and how it's going to lay out. So I don't like the font I've got at the moment, so if I go with thanks to, to dot dot dot, I can now actually select that and let's format it a bit. So I'm going to make it center justified and I'm going to make it quite a lot bigger and I'm going to click in here in my font family and just go up and down till I find something that just works for me. There you go, that'll work fine. Now I can choose anything I like but obviously for your work you might have something that somebody really requires you to use a particular font that's required for the organization you work with but for me I'm just going with something that looks okay with the eyes. So with thanks to and I can hit the enter key to leave a space and then I can start typing my name so I can do Tom, Bob, Jeff, Lindsay, ah but I can't see Lindsay it's gone off screen but if you notice just here I do have this little button this little plus button which is showing us that more text is available than is visible. Now this is the key to doing a rolling title we need to be able to expand this area in which we're typing the text and to be able to do it we need to move these handles and the way you get to the handles is you hold the control key on the PC the command key on the Mac and you end up with these handles now what we need to do is take the handle and pull it down okay pull it down and then I can scroll up with my middle mouse wheel and then I can type in a few more names so Lindsay Jane Helen Jill and again you can see that Jules actually gone off the screen so I can again hold the control key get to the bottom and pull it down now sometimes people struggle with this because of what they've done is they've gone from the text tool to the arrow tool and when you have the arrow tool and you hold the control key to get the buttons it does a completely different job okay it sort of stretches the box out and makes it work very differently so you need to stay in your text tool and then be able to hold the control key or the command key and pull down to be able to continue to get this so um, let's add a few more Richard Bill James can't see all of those again control key you get the idea you continuously pull the control key down and then scroll up or pull the scroll bar here to get a feel for what the title looks like now this scroll bar is actually important because this is going to show me how the titles are going to look, how it's going to pull through and where it's going to finish. Okay, so after James, I might want to put in copyright. So I've gone down a couple of spaces again, control key to pull down. And I can see that space. And I might do a copyright. So it's Alt0169 on the number pad for a PC. So it's Alt0169 will do copyright symbol. On a Mac, I believe it is Option G. Option G. Okay, so that's giving me the copyright symbol, and then I'm going to type copy right Creative Cow 2012. Now, obviously, if you're going to do this final bit, what we really want to do is to change its font size and make it a lot smaller. So we can just put it right down and you probably put all rights reserved and you might even choose a different font entirely for this particular thing it's up to you whatever's going to work for your system whatever's going to work for your production okay so if I now look at this and pull it down I can see that it ends with these names on screen 
and the copyright symbol kind of at the bottom and I don't want to have anything else on screen except the copyright symbol and I want the copyright symbol to be about in the middle so I'm going to add a couple of lines after the copyright symbol and just put it down so I can see that so that when I pull to the end it's going to look more like this and actually I need to also add a couple of lines after James here so that James is off the screen when we finish so again I'm going to pull this down with the control key command key on a Mac pull it down so that it's going to finish looking like this James as you can see is off the screen and that's how it's going to look when it is complete so that is my rolling title however there's something more we need to do we need to set up the rolling options for this title and that's found here with this little button that's called roll crawl options if we click on the roll crawl options we have choices for how things will start and move firstly we can see that it is already a default role because that's what we selected and as I say I think it's often better to start off with a title new title default role than it is actually to come in here and change it to roll it just I think it works a little bit better and then we've got options for how it's going to roll onto the screen do we want a pre-roll in other words how long is it going to be before it starts to come on the screen so a pre-roll we could put in there frames bear in mind these are frame numbers not seconds so we're going to put frame numbers in here so we could say for say 50 frames for two seconds and then the titles to start rolling we could also say that we want them to ease in so in other words they don't start at full speed but they start coming on screen slowly equally we can say that we want them to start off screen altogether and I want mine to start off screen I don't want them to start on screen so I click start off screen I don't have a pre-roll because clearly they're, they're going to start off screen anyway but I do have the option to ease in which means that they can start slowly but again I don't like to do ease in because if things start off screen you want them to start coming onto screen at full speed if they start coming onto screen slowly and then speed up you'll wonder what on earth's going on but I do want them to slow down when they finish and I think I can ask them to slow down say over two seconds now I'm on a PAL system so two seconds is two times 25 frames which is 50 frames and if you're on an NTSC system and you wanted it to slow down over two seconds it would be two times 30 frames which would be 60 frames in here to slow down post roll is how long do you want it to stay on the screen once it's finished rolling now I think it would look good to stay on the screen for say three seconds to show the copyright notice so for me then a PAL system that's 75 frames and obviously on an NTSC system that would be 90 frames so now I've set it up, it's going to start off screen, it's going to come in at full speed, it's going to slow down over two seconds, and it's going to stay on screen at the end for three seconds. So that's my roll set up, but notice that already I have taken up five seconds. Two seconds to slow down, three seconds to stay on screen. So my title must be longer than five seconds to look half decent. So I'm going to click OK, and it's created and then I'm going to close my window and everything is ready to go but it's not being used in my system yet but you can see if I hover scrub over it that this is kind of how it's going to look but it is going to start off screen but I'm doing a hover scrub just to give a feel for how it's going to look so it starts off screen and comes on and finishes like that so I know it's going to look just how I want it to look so I'm going to go to the end of my timeline here and I'm going to click and drag and just take it to the end as my title now it starts at 59 seconds and 12 frames and it finishes at 1 minute 5 seconds and 12 frames so that's pretty much 6 seconds so let's have a little look and see what it looks like if I hit my space bar it's going to zoom up the screen and then slow down and stay on screen so the speed that your titles work depend on how long you actually extend this item so you go to the end and you can trim it out if you trim it out another 5 seconds or so which I'm doing here it's now going to allow five seconds for those titles to come up the screen it's going to look a lot better so it's coming on slightly slower and then slows down nicely finishing with the copyright symbol right in the middle that looks fine if it's a bit jerky it's because here it needs rendering and if I want to render this out if I want to see what it will look like smoothly I hit the enter key on my keyboard and it will render this out and I can actually see it but you might have a very good graphics card on your machine in which case you probably won't need to do that anyway so that's how I can create my rolling title however at the end it just disappears 
and I really like it to fade out. So at this point, to fade out, I would go to my effects, I would go down to my video transitions, and I would choose a cross dissolve. Take the cross dissolve and drop it on the end, and you'll see that at the end, it comes in and dissolves off or fades off nicely, giving a very professional look. So that's how we can create a rolling title. In the next tutorial, I'll have a little look at crawling titles.